If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and attempt the question on your own before moving on. We have two trains that are approaching each other. They're moving towards each other, and one of them emits a sound. And because this train is emitting the sound, we have labeled it as the source, and we will use a lowercase s to denote that source. The other train is considered to be the observer, and we will use a lowercase o to denote the observer. What we can do next is note the speeds of the two objects. Now, you're going to notice that for the speed of the observer as well as the speed of the source, we have made them both positive, and this is a very important aspect of the question. The reason that the observer's speed is positive is because it is approaching the source of the sound. Similarly, the reason that the source speed is positive is because it too is approaching the observer. So in short, whenever an object is approaching the other object, you assign a positive sign to its speed. We can next introduce the Doppler effect equation. So here we have the equation. Note that the term v is the speed of sound, which is going to be roughly 343 meters per second. Now because that's in meters per second, and our other speeds are in kilometers per hour, we're going to have to change these kilometers per hour into meters per second. So that's our next task. We'll show the conversion for one of those speeds. We know that one kilometer has a thousand meters, and if we set up the conversion this way, the kilometers will cancel. And then similarly, one hour is 3600 seconds, and this way the hours will cancel. And this works out to approximately 36.1 meters per second. If you convert the 90 kilometers per hour in a similar way, you would get approximately 25.0 meters per second. So now that all the speeds are in the meters per second, we can plug them into the Doppler effect formula. Notice that F sub S is the frequency that the source is emitting, and that was stated as 500 hertz. And once you plug into the formula, you should obtain a value of approximately 596 hertz. So that would be the frequency that the observer measures. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel. Also, you are welcome to send in your own question to the email address shown on the screen.